This is the third video in a series of four we filmed at Stalons factory in Lapland. In this video we'll take a close look on different accessories that you can mount on your silencer. In the first video uh, we learned more about uh, Stalons history and how they produced their silencer. In the second video we uh, learned a lot of uh, how to choose a silencer and the different uh, silencer styles have in their range. And in the fourth episode Daniel will walk us through how you maintain your silencer for daily care and also a little more long term and every now and then maintenance. If you haven't seen our channel before, we produce videos about hunting and hunting gear. So do not hesitate to subscribe and push the notification bell so you don't miss out of any of our videos. Yet another video with yep. products from Stalin. This time we, are, uh, we have the accessories, uh, range of accessory products from you in front of us. Part of it. Part of it, of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. There is the most common ones. Yeah. And uh, I don't know really where to begin, but uh, this is an interesting product that I actually really like. Mm. Tell me about it. What is it and why did you develop it? Uh, it's, a, it's a conical barrel support. Yeah. Uh, which you fit on, let's say you have that one, that one is for the W series, yeah, yeah. the previous version of, of the X series. Oh my god, this was tight. Uh, so the conical barrel support is supposed to go like this. Um, and the function, we produce everything with a function, so yeah. everything is have a like a practical purpose yeah, yeah. Uh, and the practical practical purpose of this one is is to to have a, a, a like a smooth line between the barrel and the silencer yeah uh, to make it simple or easy to pick up from a holster backpack yeah or if you have it on on like a, a gunsling uh, and you have it on your shoulder more or less uh, you won't really get stuck in branches and and stuff like that. So it, it's to make it a little bit smoother between the barrel and the silencer. Yeah. I really like But also for the sign, of course. I, I would say that 80% of uh, the users buying this is for design. Yeah, yeah. For <laughs> I, I would say. Good. I don't good. think that 80% is using a holster back. No, no, no. <laughs> no, exactly. And, and I, I like it. Especially because of the branches when you are yeah. going like as a dog keeper. Yeah. But also, I think the rifle, the what you call it, uh, the sky, skyline of yeah, the rifle yeah, yeah, looks, yeah. looks much better with uh, this conical. Absolutely. And uh, what, this, that, this you have pieces. these for all your silencers? Uh, yes, except for the rimfire uh, rim yeah. models. Yeah, the yeah. rimfire models is actually excluded from the uh, the accessory program. Yeah. They don't have any. Um, accessories. Uh -oh. It's only for the for the main main models or for for the bigger yeah. models. And then we have uh, this product. Mm. Uh, it's a as, what can you call it? It's a open it's sight. Open sight, yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, and that one is actually new from I think it's two weeks old. <laughs> okay. So it's very new. Uh, the old ones or the the they, they are still available, of course, of yeah. course, but. The old one looks like this. Yeah. Um, and how and does it work? Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, so they look more or less the same for W series, the previous version of yeah. X, uh, and for Victor. So they both go on uh, the back end of the silencer. So like this. And you squeeze it between the barrel support and the silencer. Yes. First off, yeah. uh, so when you squeeze it tight, you, you still have a bit of a like margin to adjust yeah. to adjust it. Yeah. Uh, so you, you you screw it onto your rifle, and the silencer always stops at the exact same spot every time. Yeah. So yeah. Click. And then uh, you of course you 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 make your zeroing uh, with the uh, with the open sight on the silencer and on your your rifle yeah. uh, and then when you're satisfied with the with the configuration 
you have a adjustment screw and that screw is to, to fix it even harder so when you when you screw that in you will have the the um, the open side to be perfectly aligned every time yeah. even if you hit it or yeah. whatever so after that you can uh, detach the silence from your rifle and yeah, yeah. And, and screw it back on yeah. again and then all the time you will end up having it aligned perfectly. Yeah, yeah. And you use the blade on the on the barrel, the the other part of the sight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah of course the 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 the, the, the rear sight yeah, yeah. as a um, alignment tool. Yeah. Uh, but the new one, we think that uh, the the problem with having the open sight at the back end of the silencer is that if you have a very short rifle or short barrel which is very common if you if you thread it and, and have a silencer mounted and onto it the, the 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 distance between the the sight on your rifle and the open sight on your silencer will be so short that it's more or less it is not useless but but it's it's for very short distance like a dog keeper <laughs> yeah it's, yeah it's very hard to have a good sight in on, on, on such a short distance yeah, yeah. Uh, so the let's say uh, two points version two more or less yeah. is mounted in in the front like this yeah uh, same procedure you screw it on uh, you align it to your your open sight on your rifle and then you screw it tight with the screw on top yeah and then you have it aligned and also. Uh, and, and of course you have, I mean, to move it from here to there, it's a quite, I mean, it's 22 centimeters on this one. Yeah, on my uh, old rifle I had only like 8 centimeters. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a short, let's say a blaster with a short barrel, yeah. it's like 8 centimeters, 7 yeah. centimeters. It's, I mean, from 7 centimeters to... 30 centimeters, it's a huge difference. Yeah, absolutely. Huge difference. Is this front mount uh, open sight, is, coming, is it coming for the old silencer? Or? No, only for X-series. Oh, only for X-series. So, so yeah. it's particularly for, for X-series. Yeah. And also you see that if you turn it upside down, uh, like this, yeah. you have a, a weaver style base on, on this one, yeah. which you don't have on that one. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's a little bit of a, uh, between, what do we, six airs yeah. <laughs> or how many airs it's yeah. in a YouTube channel yeah. uh, but it's coming a uh, um, accessory for for that one as well okay but that one will be mounted at the back okay so you it. have two different parts yes yeah and it's also it's it's not only to like make it easy it's it's actually to make it better for for the for the end user because it's not very uncommon that someone wants only the the weaver style base but not the open side but the other one wants the open side but not the weaver style base and so on yeah. uh, in this solution you you'll have uh, the best of two words yeah. so you have like the open side separate from from the yeah. uh, from the uh, weaver style base yeah. or the accessory mount yeah. as we call it yeah and this is for like mounting a, a shot cam or a lamp for uh, for dog keepers and yeah whatever yeah so like a searchlight f if you, if you have a, like a, yeah. yeah yeah so and and you you if we had a, a like a weaver style base or accessory mount as you call it yeah on on the front end you will have a completely different balance of the rifle but also to have it as a searchlight um, accessory point yeah. um, you will need to like move your finger at like at the front of the uh, yeah. uh, it's much more convenient to have it in the to back have it like uh, yeah. Uh, yeah like on the back perfect so that's the the ID so okay. then we can take a look on, on this yeah near print covers yeah why would one you want to have a neoprene cover on the silencer? Uh, the neoprene cover, first off, they reduce the noise of of uh, of the silencer more or less. Not the noise like when you shoot, but the yeah. noise when you when you walk in the forest, like yeah, you hit you branches know, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, this kind of sound. Yeah. 
to have this one you reduce that sound so when you like stalking uh, or like sneaking up to an animal yeah. uh, you don't really want this kind of sound yeah. uh, so that's one one thing uh, and this one is all of course, it's a, it's also a camouflage. Yeah, of course. For e quite... Even if these are very like uh, matte finish, mm. there still can uh, be some uh, uh, flares from yeah. the from the sun and so on. Yeah. And with the, of course with the textile like this, you yeah. won't have it. No, of course. Uh, but with the black one, you have a reinforcement in Kudura. Yeah. Um, and if you turn that side up uh, yeah. you will have a reduction of of uh, like heat shimmer in your yeah. optics you know when yeah, you yeah. shoot like Absolutely. a couple of rounds you can see that yeah. the, the shimmering in, in the scope uh, but with it with the um, Kudura reinforcement you will have a slightly delayed not reduced it's it's a it's it a, takes longer time for the heat to yes. come through the yes yeah. yes yeah perfect it's a, it's a good and uh, then we have the uh, different front ends yep. for the silencer. Yep. Uh, you can buy them as accessories. Yes, correct. And uh, so this is this is the complete silencer, and this is the back end. Yeah. Uh, so you buy a complete silencer, but of course you can buy an, a front end as an accessory yeah. and turn it into a different model yeah. or whatever you call it. So you can you can change from a short one to yeah. a, a longer version. Yeah, you can vary your calibers or yeah. your uh, your purpose, like one for driven hunts and one for stalking, a different yeah. balance and so on. Yeah, Perfect. so you can have yeah. two fronts in the same calibers or two fronts in different calibers yeah. or whatever you like to to have, yeah, yeah. more or less. So and, and these just are source. now you don't need a license for this. No, uh, these ones is actually uh, considered as a. a Spare part. Accessory, yeah, yeah, yeah spare yeah, part. Yeah. Uh, but the but the back end is marked with the serial number, which is the part which is actually licensed yeah. by by the law. Yeah. And that difference, of course, from country to country as well. In um, some countries there is no license. And uh, yes and no. Uh, the, the, there are some. Uh, I would say that I haven't I haven't found any country yet that doesn't allow these ones as an accessory. Yeah, yeah. Um, but of course it could be yeah. local differences, but yeah, yeah. I, I don't know all of them. No. And then we have this. Yeah, muscle brakes. Muscle brakes. Mm. Two different, mm. they're completely different in size. Yeah. When, uh, I mean it's a big step from, from reducing the sound and here we will increase the, <laughs> increase the yeah. sound. <laughs> but uh, it also has some advantages, tell me about it. Uh, so the muscle brake, uh, let's start with the small one. Uh, the small one, the small muscle brake, this is, this is actually, um, this is not really an accessory for the silencers. Uh, but on, on the other hand, it's, it is an accessory for the silencer. Because when you have a silencer and you practice shoot a lot, or if you practice shoot very intensive, like uh, you have a shooting cinema and you rent an hour and you have 100 rounds, let's say that. Yeah. The, the overall equipment will turn out being quite quite hot. Yeah. And you will have the heat shimmer also. It will be pretty heavy on after 100 shots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, if you shoot it hot, like for a long time, you will have heat shimmer in your, in, in your optics. That yeah. it's, it's, I mean, it's useless to practice with yeah. these kind of heat shimmers. Then this little piece will will help you reduce the heat shiver. Yeah. But if it it will increase the sound. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, so it's 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 for practice, yeah. and it's also good for. I mean, we're specialized in in products that you mount on um, in front of your rifle. Yeah. And this is also a piece that you mount in front of your rifle. Yeah. Um, is this? Uh, do you need a license for buying this? No, you don't need them. No. And this one is actually reducing the. The recoil would, uh, um, depending on the caliber, of course. But if you have a 306 or 308, reduce the the recoil with 66 percent, which is quite quite a lot, yeah. or it's very a lot, yeah. very much. Uh, the silencer reduced the, reduced the recoil of approximately 
50% depending on the model, but yeah. 45 to so 55. So it's a slightly more? Little more, yes. Yeah. And tell me about the, the screws you have here. You, you can uh, move them around? Yeah, so the screws, I don't know if you can see it, uh, it's quite small. There you have the screw. Uh, so the screw is, is actually to, you can place them wherever you want, of course, yeah. but it's when you screw this one onto your rifle, uh, I guess you will have it on underneath the the muzzle brake. Yeah. Because if you block the the uh, the gases will will like be pushed to the side instead of of, yeah. uh, of in front if you don't have this one. Yeah. Uh, but if you block the gases traveling downwards, yeah. uh, you will you will reduce the the barrel flip. Yeah. So if you don't have anything pushing downwards, you will have a more, much more. Uh, stable shooting. Stable shooting, yeah. yeah. But also for uh, for target shooters, like if you're laying down with the bipod and such, yeah. um, you will reduce the the amount of of dust and 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 stuff like that blowing up into the optics and into yeah. your equipment. Yeah. So that's also a good way to use them. Yeah. And, and this, yeah. is, it, is it just a bigger version of that? Uh, yes and no. Uh, you don't have the adjustment screws uh, and it's qu quite uh, quite heavy. Yeah. It's, it's almost 300 grams and this one is 76 I think. Yeah. Take that with a, with a little bit of uh, salt. But yeah. uh, around 300 grams. And this one is actually developed for for uh, like step two of, of practice shooting when you want to be able to to have the same balance in your rifle because if you mount this mount this on your rifle you will have 300 grams in front of your rifle yeah. uh, let's say this one uh, is weighting 307 uh, 374 it's uh, it's the XC version yeah. uh, so the balance when you use that one and that one will be similar not yeah. exactly the same, but similar. Yeah, yeah. So if you practice shoot and you're really picky with your configuration and your practice shooting and you want to be as accurate as possible, uh, this tool could be really, it, it could really change your way of shooting yeah. and practice shoot if you want to shoot a yeah. lot. But uh, you should def definitely wear a uh, hearing protection when using this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. Both both the hearing protection on. Yeah. Do you make this in all the same threads as you have on the silencers? So like uh, uh, fourteen and fifteen and eighteen. Uh, not all of them. Huh? Uh, this one is uh, have more threads than this one. Uh, this one is quite new. I need a little. Uh, I don't know if I have the details in here. No, uh, I don't have the exact, I don't remember them actually, yeah. uh, the exact thread we have, but we have a lot of threads yeah, yeah. For, for the muscle brakes as well. Yeah, so it's only to check up on your homepage or at the retailer who sells them. Yeah, the yeah. webpage tells everything about yeah, yeah. the product. Yeah. This is the main uh, accessories you have and you have also for the old uh, silencers, the v, double uh, V series. Uh, and uh, you have the uh, yeah. silencer grease. Yeah, I forgot to show you this one. Yeah. This is the silencer grease and this is actually a pretty simple uh, accessory and it's not really an accessory, it's, it's, a, it's a part of, of maintenance, and, maintenance and, and care product. Yeah. Uh, but this silencer grease is, is not any type of, of grease, it's, uh, it's a grease that you uh, I'll show you. It's a red grease, and this kind of grease is um, it's not only withstanding like 1200 degrees. It's also withstanding the pressure, and the pressure is more important than than the heat, because the pressure when you shoot you you will build up uh, uh, like an impulse of, of uh, pressure impulse, yeah. uh, and the pressure impulse will push the the grease um, uh, in the thread you, you have you have the thread in, in um, yeah it will move it out, out yeah you will have the grease traveling down the thread and, yeah. and the 
more and more more than half of the thread would be blank like yeah. uh, dry without any grease so this grease is really good for care and maintenance and mm -hmm. I mean it's very cheap and it will last a lifetime yeah, yeah, yeah. you only need like this amount for for uh, care and maintenance yeah, yeah. So it's it's um, it's really a good product yeah perfect Simple. Thank you very much, Emil, yep. for letting you know about your uh, range of accessories. Yeah. So. Uh, I'll stick that off my hand. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, uh, you guys now can know everything about these products, and you can also find more uh, stuff on the homepage. I will put the link here in the description to your homepage. Yeah. Thank good. you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay. Okay.